Last Friday, January 11, 2013, a filthy 26-year-old cyber criminal fag named Aaron Swartz hanged himself in New York City. He is being widely hailed as a computer genius and the collective internet is mourning his suicide. As much of a genius as he may have been, he wasn't smart enough to fear God and keep his simple commandments. Listen, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding, Proverbs 9.10. And let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man, Ecclesiastes 12.13. Aaron Swartz thought he was smarter than God. He was raised in a generation that taught him that you can break God's commandments with impunity. For example, he was taught that he didn't have to follow God's command, that thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind, it is abomination. So, of course, being the genius he was, he concluded that he also didn't have to follow God's command, that thou shalt not steal. Remember, he was a cyber criminal, a common thief who broke into computers and stole stuff that did not belong to him. When he got caught and had criminal charges filed against him, he killed himself. Now he faces a much harsher judgment seat than he ever could have dreamed. WBC has been preaching to this world for over 20 years, warning you that your only chance for peace is to obey God. But rather than repenting, you declare war on God and try to silence his messengers. As David said, my soul hath long dwelt with him that hateth peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. What God does to his enemies is this. He repayeth them that hate him to their face to destroy them. He will not be slack to him that hateth him. He will repay him to his face. So when cyber criminals attempt to stop Westboro Baptist Church, God repays you to your face. Your poster boy is now dead, having died in the same shameful way as Judas Iscariot, that son of perdition. Now, we certainly live in a generation of deluded people who think that they can anonymously commit crimes against God in the dark and that God doesn't know who they are and see what they are doing. They say, the Lord shall not see, neither shall the God of Jacob regard it. Understand, ye brutish among the people and ye fools, when will ye be wise? He that planted the ear, shall he not hear? He that formed the eye, shall he not see? Psalm 94, 7 through 9. The Lord looketh from heaven. He beholdeth all the sons of men. From the place of his habitation, he looketh upon all the inhabitants of the earth. He fashioneth their hearts alike. He considereth all their works. Psalm 33, 13 to 15. And to continue their delusion, they reason among themselves that since God hasn't destroyed them yet, that he won't. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Ecclesiastes 8.11 The wicked plotteth against the just and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. Psalm 37.12-13 The Lord willing... On January 18 at 4.30 p.m., WBC will appear at Times Square in New York City, where Aaron Schwartz lived, and hold a public memorial praising God for killing this criminal. Amen. For more good Bible preaching, go to GodHatesFags.com. To find out why your nation is doomed, go to GodHatesTheWorld.com. For news, parodies, and documentaries about our doctrine, go to SignMovies.com. For news on the pedophile rape machine called Catholicism, go to PriestsRapeBoys.com. For more on the pure heresy and idolatry called Islam, go to GodHatesIslam.com. To see the mask peeled off the fag juggernaut, go to GodHatesTheMedia.com. And for WBC blogs, go to blogs.sparenot.com.